Yeah. Hello, and welcome to the mail time news desk. This is probably not where we're gonna do mail time, but it was the space that was available to record it, and it's real easy to put whatever I want on the screen, so... Hello, time for a hard-hitting mail opening. Okay, we're gonna start with this mail time letterbox that, uh, Nelson, you know Nelson, he's in Friday Nights, does some judging for us. Nelson was in the Yukon, one of the northern territories of Canada, and was given this by hand from Milo Martin. Wait, it says Yukon and Northwest Territories. Well, whatever. Anyway, this was given to Nelson by hand in very northern Canada and passed back to us with care, and it is full of magic cards and a note. Crack-a-pack from Milo. Yukon Northwest Territories. Thank you, Milo. And an Earthshaker Kenra token for Alex. Fantastic. Dear LRR crew, I've been watching Friday Night and Commodore Hustle for quite a while. My favorite is the Strange Brew episode with Cam's U Brew Warehouse. In this box, there is no exciting candy due to the fact that I live somewhere with nothing anyway. Nelson was here for our con. I gave him this. It has a crack a pack and a card for everyone. Sincerely, Milo Martin. Thank you so much, Milo. Appreciate that. Now there's a couple envelopes. There's an envelope right here. This envelope has a smiley face sticker on it. Therefore, it's the best. Greetings, Grant. How has been your days? Here it is extra nice and cold lately. Good to see for you the eclipse went well. Are you guys staying cool? I like to eat oatmeal and yogurt. When was the last time you had a bowl of cereal with milk? Be specific. A couple weeks ago? Sorry, 14 days ago? How long can you make your ring spin for on the table? What kind of a question is that? Longer than I thought. I like to cook eggs in the microwave. I whisk with fork, two eggs, small milk, and microwave covered for one minute, 30 seconds. If microwave too long, then is mess. You should try it. Let know to me how go. Also good to omelet. Take care of yourself. Make sure to get enough sleep. Papa bless. Be still, amigo. Feel free to show old letter in mail video. There's a series of drawings. Thank you. All I know about whoever sent this is that they're from Minneapolis, because both addresses on the envelope are ours. Hey, we got a postcard. It's J.L. Beers in Moorhead, Minnesota. Dear Doctors Lure, Summer's here, you should buy me a beer, is what it says printed on the postcard, and then the writer continues. Since I can't send you any, please drink one for me. Hello, I've been a fan since the Friday Night's reboot, and I've been a regular watcher of Commodore House on the old non-magic sketches, too. I love what you guys are doing with the live show. I've never been able to attend a con since traveling from the center of the continent is costly. If you ever get to Winnipeg or Minneapolis, I hope I can see all your lovely faces from Spencer. Thank you, Spencer. I hope we can see your lovely face too. And the last envelope is a thank you card to Graham or whoever opens this envelope. Hi, I'm Charlie, the kid who visited on July 8th. It was a few days before my birthday. You may not remember. Oh, we remember. It was we were doing the land day. And we were like, who's at the door? Charlie. Oh, right. We have a visitor today that most of us forgot about. Either way, I'm sending this card for two reasons. One, to thank you guys for all the awesome things that you do. Also for the birthday presents. I gave him birthday presents. As a placeholder for the giant box of goodies I intend to send once I get home from vacation, while I could send a Pacific Northwest box, as that's where I'm doing most of my vacationing, I don't think it's legal to send that much weed across the border. Brr, 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 brr. <laughs> in short, you guys are awesome. Keep up the good work and expect a box of goodies in a few months and good luck with the move. Keep on keeping on Charlie or Terminal Velocity in chat. P.S. I make no apologize for maturable hangrigening. Sorry. Don't worry, Charlie. Your hangrigening is not that terrible. Customs declaration. Gift. Uh-oh. Read this thing. Eat the other things. Do not confuse the two. <laughs> That was a terrible idea. Dear doctors, doc, dear doctor, doctors, dear doctor, doctors, LRR, PhD. As a Detroit native who's been living in Lexington, Kentucky for the past 10 years, Loading Ready Run and its oddball community have been a constant beacon of hope as I try to get by out here and plan my eventual escape from the state with the horses and the bourbon. I honestly can't remember the first LRR related thing I saw. Chances are I probably saw sketches before I knew what LRR was, but I do remember Unskippable and the Daily Drop. I've been following the bus from Tucson to Vegas since DB5. I was there for the single ephemeral Luricon a few years back and a ton of fun meeting other fans and seeing you guys live and I promised myself I wouldn't ask for the footage from it in this letter. Yeah, oh, right, I guess we do have that footage somewhere. You guys are much needed source of good and positiveness and other well-deserved adjectives in the world today. Keep up the awesome work. At any rate, I keep seeing all these interesting candies and such sent from around the world. I don't have much to offer where I'm currently living, but I can, I can at least offer you this curious piece of Kentucky confectionery, Woodford Reserve Bourbon Caramels. That is caramels made with Woodford Reserve Bourbon. I don't think I've seen anyone else send them in, so hey, maybe this will be something unique and neat to try out. Enclosed should be two bags of caramels. Yes. They did not escape in the mail. Enjoy. Well, fantastic. Thank you so much from Captain Spam. Thank you, Captain Spam. Please enjoy Woodford Reserve responsibly. I promise no such thing. Well, this thing's right in the way of you seeing other stuff, so let's open this one first. 
That sounds like some sort of tabletop shenanigans. Oh no, it finally happened. We have a double. Hi, LRR, I really loved your Atmosphere game streams and I knew I had to send this to you. Happy streaming from Psycho H. This is a cop. A copy of Atmosphere the Harbingers, which we do actually have a copy of. But now we have to figure out something interesting to do with a second copy. Regardless, thank you, Psycho, and we will be playing this on stream at some point. But I don't know when. What is this? Playing cards, eh? Why would somebody send us playing cards? It's just packaging all the way down. Dear Lurfolk, and Graham specifically, thank you for the many years of laughter and entertainment. I love everything you do and only wish I had the disposable income to support you on a regular basis. As it is, anything I can spare is going towards my upcoming wedding at the end of October. Hey, congratulations, enjoy your wedding. You've all been a constant reminder there is hope and humor to be found even when it feels like life is impossible and not worth the effort. I was listening to an episode of Drive to Work and realized that Watsy had produced a wrestling themed trading card game in 2000 and immediately thought is something that Adam and Graham might be into. I was able to find the starter kit on eBay. It's the WCW Nitro trading card game. Officially licensed WCW from Wizards of the Coast. I've absolutely never heard of this. This is amazing. This is a two-player starter set for w with Buff Bagwell, no less, on the front cover. Welcome to WCW Nitro trading card game. The starter game hurls you and a friend into the ring for intense one-on-one -on -one action. Experience all the savage action you see on TV, only you're the one throwing down bone-crunching, back-breaking moves on your friends. Goldberg, Sting, Jarrett, and Bagwell. All the big boys are in here, so what are you waiting for? Get in the ring. Wow. This starter level icon is the same as it used to appear on Magic Boosters. I've never heard of this. This is astonishing. I can't wait to show this to Adam. And a pack of Hour of Devastation. Thank you, Ben. Much appreciated. Oh, it's a box of a variety of what the hell? Hello, my dear Dr. Lur. My name is Zachary, but in chat and Discord, I'm known as DJ Xenos or Dragon God Xenos. I have been following your work for the past eight years. First seeing Fee Dump and Unskippable and The Escapist. You got me through moving from Toronto to Ottawa, many job searches and hirings, and even some depressive episodes. For the years of love, community, and laughter, and tears, I thank you with all my heart. Thank you. As for the box, we have a birthday present consisting of a teddy bear and storybook for Penelope. What? 50 toy box tales. This is huge. Wow. Thank you. Two board games I think you will enjoy. Citadels. I know that a couple people are already big fans of Citadels in the crew, so thank you for that. And Epic Spell Wars of the Battle Wizards Duel at Mount Skull's Fire. This is a card game where you compete to be the last man standing. You must cast your spells in a wizardy voice as per the game rules. I, I, sweet. Thank you. I don't know what else to make of that. Finally, a blast from the past, a price guide magazine for magic from 1995. If you look on the last page, you will see something cool. Check it out. We got Chromium over here, got Sheevan Dragon, Captain Picard and the Enterprise, the Star Trek The Next Generation CCG, which I played. What's on the last page? The people who made the magazine have like cards of themselves. That's kind of cool. Bands with authors. Wow, they've got pictures of all the, all the next gen cards in here. Jean-Luc Picard, 60 bucks? I gotta get my binder. Those have probably held their value, right? Sela is $24? Damn! USS Enterprise, 60 bucks. Nice. Looks like the Star Trek cards topped out at 60, at least at time of printing. See, we got magic cards wise. Combination lands from Alpha. The most expensive is Plateau at 16 to $20. Captain Jean Luc Picard is worth three times as much as Plateau. I bought into the wrong game. I think the shipping manifest says candy. I gotta stop ruining it for myself. Planet Treasures Media, the Ministry of Epic Beards. That's us. I found these trolley beards at 7 Eleven and thought of you guys. Wait, what? I hope your beards enjoy these beards as much as my beards bore the brunt of these burly man candies. Beards, beards, beards. It's a beard, weird beards, James Harden edition. Bearded gummies modeled from the most beer delicious player in basketball, James Harden. They're just normal gummies, but they're shaped like guys with beards. Oh my, it's a whole box of James Harden beard candies. That's so much James Harden. They didn't even sign this, it just says thanks and bye. Thank you, whoever you are. All right, I'm not looking at the manifest this time. I wanna be surprised. I'm gonna take the manifest and put it away. All right, what do we have in here? Bubble pack. Aha! 
Dear Graham, Kathleen, and the rest of LRR, my husband and I have been huge fans of you for years and wanted to send the crew a small thank you gift for all the wonderful content you've given us in addition to our Patreon support, for which we thank you. Uh, we initially found you via the weekly sketches in The Escapist, but have quickly expanded to watching all the various weekly series you create, Feed Dump and Checkpoint in particular, are favorites of ours. I also really fell in love with your yearly Desert Bus event and have been lucky enough to be a crafter for DB 7, 8, 9, and 10. Sadly, wasn't able to apply for 11 as we've just had a baby, congrats, which left me a little time for this year's craft along. While we currently live in Seattle, we both grew up in Montana. During a recent drive back to Seattle from visiting family, one of the places we stopped had a Made in Montana section that caught our eye. We found a gift box of various treats made from local huckleberries, and given your enjoyment of LRR fence and treats from various places, we both agreed that sending you a box was a thing we should do. And so we did, since you are reading this letter. Inside you will find huckleberry flavored chocolate, taffy, Twizzlers, gummy bears, and jelly beans. Hopefully the crew will enjoy a small taste of Montana. Lastly, over a year ago, I went to school to become a scientific illustrator, someone who draws detailed animals for textbooks. My first major assignment allowed me to draw any subject I wanted at the time we were watching your and Kathleen's vlog trip to Japan, and I was fascinated by the cormorant fishing. So I paused your videos and drew them. I'm sure of all the things you could have memorialized from your trip to Japan, it was cormorants porking up fish. I decided to pass along the original to you to do with as you will. Thanks for unintentionally helping me with school. This was a long way of saying we love what you do. Please keep up the amazing work. Thank you for all the great content. Aaron and Peter. And this is an original painting of a cormorant throwing up fish. That is wonderful. That's so great. Thank you so much. And then this is the box of, oops, the box of Montana. Wow, look at that. I guess huckleberries are purple, huh? Huckleberry licorice, huckleberry taffy, huckleberry jelly beans, huckleberry gummy bears, and wild huckleberry milk chocolate candy bar. That's wonderful, thank you. What's a huckleberry? Uh, what is this soft thing? Should it be soft? I hope so. That's always worrisome. It's like, oh, what'd you get me? It makes a really interesting rattle. Like, oh, it's not supposed to rattle. Hello, Loading Ready Run from a Loading Ready Runner. That's you. Insert gushing amounts of praise here. Gotcha. I'm including some hats I won while on a P&O cruise. These hats can only be gotten if you win one of the onboard activities. The team I was in won pretty often, so I have a few hats among other items which I gift to you now. In other completely unrelated items, please find and close some delicious New Zealand chocolate as a bribe or extra sweet treat. Cheers, Jamis or Richards online. P&O Cruises, winner, 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 winner. I won an onboard activity at a P&O Cruise, I will have you know, and I have the hat to prove it. And as a reward for winning an online activity, online onboard activity at a P&O Cruise, I get this uh, New Zealand chocolate. Creamy milk, mm. five roll refined? I didn't know you could roll chocolate that much. Is that legal? The full 80. Creamy milk chocolate packed with cranberries, banana protein puffs and peanuts? Wow. Thank you, Richards. Wow, this is really heavy for such a small box. I love that you used the font there, by the way. Our font. GG, easy, peasy, winner, winner, chicken dinner, happy, move to the new moon base. It's a chicken dinner. Th Is it just gonna loop? Dear LRR, thank you for all the hours of entertainment. For the best Discord in the world, go hashtag PUBG and for creating a safe space where we can thrive and make friends. Wish you all the best of luck on Mark 5. See you in chat, Philippe Modesto. The air horn is, uh, it says Baby's First Steps, which is crossed out, and then Jurassic Park and is crossed out, and then it just says airhorn.flack. There's another letter which talks about some of this stuff, because a lot of this is like Brazilian chocolates, which look amazing, or Brazilian. But also, the Lord, Loading Ready Run Orbiting Underground Moon Base Mark V. This is a 3D printed, it's a 3D printed sphere. This paragraph intentionally typeset in papyrus. Thanks. Is a proof of concept based on MST3K? Right, of course, that's what it looks like. Made this little model as a moving gift. Let me know if you think this has become a TTSF project for Ian and Cam. I think I can print it as an eight part block with 11 centimeter diameter. It could go as a globe holder or have LEDs in it, I guess. Let me talk to Ian about that. I've also included a USB drive with a couple of ROMs of Brazilian-only game releases. The first one is Terma de Monica Natero do Mon dos Monstros. It's for the Genesis. The game is based on a local comic book known internationally as Monica's Gang. and is a reskin of Wonder Boy done in a similar fashion to what was done in Super Mario Bros. 2 US. Well, that seems like a matters of import kind of kind of deal there. Oh, which you suggest yourself. So you're, you're, you're way ahead of me. Okay, cool. And Philippe is working on a sideball <laughs> mini game in their spare time as a core plan reference. Well, this is fantastic. What's the Oreo what? Bis. What are these? Oh my god, they're little Oreo Kit Kats? You spoil us. You spoil us fat. Thank you so much, Philippe. Here we have a box that comes to us from Savannah, Georgia. 
And it is full of paper. And more paper. What a. Well, this is embarrassing. Oh, these are games. There's like little miniature card games. Fabricators, a game of 3D printing a nicer tomorrow. Murder most foul. The Dragon's Favor, a card game of voting and scheming for two to seven players. This game is called 1C, I think. Botch, a crime caper game. Well, I don't know what this exactly is or who it's from, but it seems like a bunch of little self-contained mini card games. Thank you. We'll take a look at those. Deutschland. Oh boy. There's a note here that says, read me or don't. I'm a letter, not a cop. Hello, Dr. Zlur. Dr. Graham, I presume. You presume correctly. My name is Eric, or Astra7525 on Twitch, and I live in the port city of Kiel, the capital of the federal state of, oh god, Schleswig-Holstein in northern Germany? I have started watching LRR's antics with Feed Dump on the Escapist and later followed you to Twitch where you began mostly streaming content there. I especially love Let's Nope, Watch and Play, Talking Sim streams because I really enjoy Alex's wordsmithery and Cam's eclectic academic knowledge applied to video games. Also shout out to Heather because Burb has infected my vocabulary in such a way that I immediately mumble it to myself whenever a Burb perches on the balcony outside my window. You mentioned liking European candy and especially Haribo's very much so I thought it would include a nice box of German specific candies. I might have overdone it a bit though. This is a very heavy box. I have added stickers where appropriate. Yes! And below this letter also some paragraphs about the significance of certain contents of the package. Keep doing what you do and good luck with your new moon base. P.S. Of course, the shipment is 100% spider free, I promise. See, I wouldn't have expected there to be spiders, but now you say that. Hey, Yeeler Fjord Windjammer Parade during Kiel Week in the Firth of Kiel with a sailing school ship Gorshfok in the lead. Gorch Falk. What are you gonna name your boat? Ah, uh, I don't know. The noise you make when you step on a Lego. Rittersport. Rittersport you can't get here. Choco Brownie. Rittersport Olympia with yogurt, honig, nuss, and Traubenzucker. Budel Schiff Gorch. Wait, so there's something else to do with the Gorch Falk? Oh my god, it's our own miniature Gorch Falk. Look, I'm holding my Gorch Falk in my hand. There's a U boat model here for uh, Cameron and Alex, and then a bunch of. Haribos and various chocolates and Houston Mitchin. Beej will find out what that is. Hey, Stroopwaffle, salted licorice. Congratulations, Ian. This looks fantastic. Eric, thank you for this box of German fun. Got to figure out where we're going to put our Gorchfock. Comparatively, this one is very light. We kept forgetting to mail this hat and it's been bugging us. From longtime fans Nick and Lorelei. Pronounced like the Gilmore Girl. I can see why this hat would have been would would have been bugging you. Thanks. Oh right, our new Tokyo treat. Shoutouts there. Thank you for that. And another another Baltimore in a box. I wonder if there's a note because we did get one of these on mail time a little while ago and enjoyed it. But I don't know how much more Baltimore we need. Oh, it's from it, it's from Admiral Memo again. I guess it's just stocking us back up. Oh wait, no, there's different stuff. Dear Doctor Lear, congrats on the new moon base. I'm sending this care package in honor of that momentous move. After seeing the original be opened, I knew I'd be doing Baltimore box 2.0 based on Graham's reactions, the YouTube comments, my dad becoming a fan of the mailbag videos, among other things. I really did want to send you the crab with a donut, but unfortunately the site only allows the shipment of crab cakes or steamed crabs to US locations. Thank God, because this has been sitting here for a while. I briefly considered coordinating something with someone in Seattle, but figured it'd be too much of a hassle. Yeah, please please don't send us fish. Please don't. Nobody, just no one, it's going to be bad for every, well, not you. It'll be bad for us. Please, please don't send us fish. So what do we have? More coffees and snacks, a few trinkets, and what moon base could be complete without more pens? Keep up the good work, y'all. Sincerely, Admiral Mamo. P.S. If you really want to know the joke about the pens, is nothing about the bail bonds themselves. It's the fact these pens are somehow everywhere. Pick up a random pen in Baltimore. There's a 50-50 shot. It's one of these. Thank you, Admiral Mamo. So we've got more of the crab chip from Oots. Zeke's Coffee, the Telltale Dark. Awesome. We have a new coffee machine here, the Moonbase Mark V. Fisher's Popcorn, Caramel Popcorn. Granola. I do like a little bit of granola. Original Caramel Creams, or and with the air quotes, Original Caramel Creams. Looks like some saltwater taffy. Those damn pens you were talking about. Crab Seasoned Beef Jerky. A Balt Stick with a Rat? You're really leaning into it, aren't you guys? And what Baltimore in a box would be complete without a fidget spinner. Wee! Wow. You hear that? Those bearings. Look at them go. I don't know what the design on this is, but I assume that I should if I know about my Baltimore. Thank you, Admiral Mamo. Okay, home stretch now. Home stretch. Here we go. Wait, there's two notes. Read me first, please. But this one says it's really important. Why? 
Okay, I guess I'll, I'll read the one that says read me first first, even though the other one's apparently really important. Dear LRR, I wanted to personally thank you for all the amazing stuff you guys do. I recently was going through some hard times. My autism makes life pretty difficult sometimes. Luckily, things are looking up now. You guys have helped me in the past and you continue to improve my mental well-being. I do not interact with chat or you guys often. I try to always use monthly sub message to let you know how things are because it's difficult and energy consuming for me. I still feel like I'm part of an awesome and friendly community though. I have sent you some traditional and probably less traditional Dutch candy. I've also included two boosters for tap tap concede. I hope you you guys like the contents of this box keep being awesome from chris the cake of lies thank you chris thank you so much booster wise we got a pack of shadows of rainestrad and a pack of eternal masters thank you now what's really important but not important enough that it could wait until I was done the other thing. Dear customer, I hereby officially guarantee you this box of candy is 100% spider free. This box has been processed by employee number 33459 Quality control is top priority here at the Candy and Spider Sorting Center. We keep our spiders and our candy strictly separated to ensure that you, the customer, get the most of this amazing candy experience. Hope you are satisfied with your purchase. Yours faithfully, Chris, CEO of Spider Free Candy Incorporated. I'm a little worried that two different shipments today have been like, don't worry, no spiders. Is this a Rhythm Heaven reference? That makes more sense. Hey, check it out, Stroopwafel in a tin. These will actually be really handy for all the Stroopwafels people keep sending us. Butter waffle candies, Zoo Mix, coffee candies, massive licorice, Haribo Crocos. Dang, thank you for the Dutch candy. Oh boy, that's very heavy. Why is this one so particularly heavy? No wonder the post office was getting cranky at us. I've never seen a box this small with the heavy warning on it. Dear Dr. Zeller R. Graham, just a little something I thought you all would enjoy. Thank you for the content you provide. Because of you, PUBG is my new obsession. Even though I'll never play it, I can't stop watching it be played. So I will end with this. Uh, one more? From Steve, Card Slapper. Wait, what? Hold up. It's a one more frying pan. No wonder it's so heavy. It's a cast iron frying pan that says one more on it. That's amazing. Thank you, Steve. Excuse me, bear. All right, last two. Then I can take this dumb hat off. Hey, Graham, got this book for myself a little while ago, and I thought it was fascinating. I wanted to share it with another graphic designy person from Bonnie or Skilled on Twitch. Iron Fists, Branding the 20th Century Totalitarian State. Oh my God. It's a book of totalitarian propaganda and graphic design. That's actually fascinating. Thank you, Skilled. That's super interesting. Much appreciated. All right, the hat's coming off anyway. Oh. Looks like board games. Dear Dr. Graham, don't read this out loud. There's a URL. Dear Dr. Graham, I figured out something like this would be easier than talking about games included in packages without having to resort to cramming some text into an Amazon gift note. They never give enough space. One might ask why I'm doing this crazy thing. It mostly goes back to DB10, uh, which I spent the launch of at a grandparent's funeral. It really helped out and I figured I'd return the favor. The possibility of getting people to see games in the tabletop industry they might have never heard of doesn't hurt either. So here's some cool stuff I saw at Gen Con that's being shipped by Amazon due to lack of trunk space. Century. Spice Road and Dice Forge. Wow, that that looks super cool. Oh, you build your dice in the game? Heroes roll their dice to gain resources and spend resources to acquire die faces to upgrade their dice. That sounds very fun. And this looks sweet too. Thank you, PM Avers. Appreciate it. Okay, I think that's everything. Time to go fry up a bunch of candy. As always, thank you so, so much for your kind words and your wonderful gifts and your regional foods, and your strange hats, and your, your beard-inspired gummies. Thanks, everybody. Always a pleasure.